Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sammy and uh, thanks for joining me. Today I will be installing a roof box on my GX. I'm going to show you which uh, box I got and the reason for that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the install. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you the box that I got. Alright, so I got the Rome Adventure box. This is the 95 liter one in black. They have various different colors. Um, they, they, these boxes are waterproof. Very well built in my opinion. And um, we've got three latches over here. One over here, they are lockable. As you can see right here. And when you open it, it is, it does have an assisted opening with these little shocks on each side. And what do we have here, guys? I also got the little lid organizer. I don't know if you can see that well enough. But yeah, I, I waited a while to get this in. I'm mostly going to use this lid organizer for tools, you know, basic tools, bolts, nuts, spare stuff, and um, the rest of the box, I'm most likely going to keep all of my recovery gear in here, my uh, tire inflator, um, you know, just the, the rough stuff, dirty stuff, you know, tools. But the reason, the main reason why I got this pretty beast is because it's very easy to mount. Now you've got these little perforations here and these are actually these little holes which are actually outside of the water barrier. See this right here is the water barrier, it's like a little ridge. And then on the lid, you've got your rubber gasket that goes around. Now this thing right here sits on this water barrier all the way around. And basically this falls outside of that. So when you close this, you have access in that little gap right there. And that gives you a good option for mounting solution. Um, there is also a bottle opener built in, which is kind of cool. I think this right here is like a pressure valve. And basically, the case comes with two handles. One on each side, they go through here. And this is actually the location that I'm going to use to mount to use my tie down um, thing that I'm gonna use so I've already removed it on this side and basically the thing that I'm gonna use it's gonna go through here and you see that it even has a little indentation probably that's why they made that and it's all it's on all of the locations which is really nice so you have multiple ways of tying this down without compromising the waterproofing of the box. You don't have to drill any holes into the bottom like I've seen with other cases that people do online. You can even see on the back right here, you have that same access where you can put something through here. So what I'm using to tie this down to my roof rack is basically this item right here. Um, I forget what it's called. I bought it on Amazon. I bought a whole roll of it. it comes in a nice little roll like this. It's uh, 10 meters, so that's what, 30 feet. And I've already made one of these. And this is my plan right here. So I'm going to put this through here. Like so. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put it through here. Oh no, actually. I wanna put it through here like so. Alright. And then I got a bolt and a nut and some washers. And this is where I'm gonna attach this with the bolts and nut. And then this down here is how I'm going to attach this to my roof rack. Basically, I'm gonna have a carriage bolt into my roof rail. And then this is gonna go over the carriage bolt. And then I'll have a, first I'll have a washer and this will go on. And then I'm gonna have another washer and then uh, a stop nut basically and then that'll tighten everything down so now I just gotta get this up on the roof and ho I'm hoping that I'll be able that this will line up to where there's a uh, crossbar or roof rail that goes you know on the one on this side and one on the other side hopefully they'll line up if not you know, um, on the Prince roof rack, they're adjustable, so you, you can move them however you like. So, let me go ahead and get this up there, and um, we'll see how it goes, guys. You guys, this is working out really good. Um, there is a bar right in front and behind the roof box, the, the cargo box, perfectly aligned, so... I'm gonna go ahead and install my carriage bolts and on my hardware I'm gonna make another one of those tie down straps um, I'll show you how to cut one um, but let me go ahead and show you how it lines up and how much more space you've got on the roof rack after we've installed this plus I have a roof panel on there and I'm also putting a water tank up there so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have enough space for everything so stay with me guys and let's go ahead and I'll show you how much space I have up there all right guys so as you can see I've got a crossbar right there which is perfect and I've got another crossbar here at the front which is also perfect and this is the space that I have for my water tank but first I'm gonna take the measurement to make sure I have enough space and if I don't I'll have to move this back which is not a problem because I have another crossbar back here so yeah basically yeah, this fits perfect. And this is how it looks. Let me see if I can get another angle for you guys. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna drive around with this in town or anything. I'm only gonna put this mount this box up there whenever I'm going on my trips on the trails you know for a few days but yeah this is with my solar panel so let me go ahead and get the measurements for the water tank and then I'll know how much I need to adjust this all right, so the way I have everything set up, this is gonna be the final installation location for everything. Um, I had to move the box back a little bit. So I got a crossbar right there. I've got a crossbar right there. And then I put up my water tank to check the space. And I got plenty of space on this side and this side the only issue I have is 
because I have the the awning brackets here I will have to move this bracket over to here so that can this can sit down inside in between the the rails but otherwise yeah that's gonna be the final setup you guys looking good so you can't really see it that much it's not too bad it doesn't stick out too much I mean the water tank so we're good on that and um, yeah I'll leave links in the description for the water tank it's the Iron Man 4x4 tank and um, all right I'm gonna start installing my tie down hardware for the roof box so I have that ready so and I'm gonna show you guys how to you know cut it to whatever length you want and everything stay with me guys so I removed the roof box because I had the uh, this one handle still on this side it's very easy to actually put it on and take it off by yourself you don't need any help um, unless you've got this full of gear and it's heavy then you'll need help but if you take everything out you know and you want to remove it that's you know pretty easy just take out all the heavy items and then and then remove the box otherwise yeah get some help um, but yeah I removed the second handle that was on this side and now basically I'm gonna cut another one of these and the easiest way is just to count how many little holes there are I counted 17 on this first one so I've got 17 here get some wire cutters or whatever and just you know make the indentation and then if it doesn't cut all the way through just fold it back and forth back and forth until it breaks off so I'm gonna go ahead and do that guys all right so it's the next day I couldn't finish yesterday but anyways uh, I think we can get it done today even though it's super cloudy and it's been raining got a little break now from the rain anyways yesterday I did manage to cut my second tie down strap and um, yeah this is what they look like basically you know you got your little indentation here on the box or you also have indentations on multiple places so that won't keep the lid from closing anyways um, you put your strap through here and then <clears throat> I have a bolt and a nut and that will I'll put that through here right here tighten that up and then down here this is where it's gonna tie down into the carriage bolt and then I'll put a nut in and everything and I'll show you guys how to do that real quick I do want to mention that this thing is kind of sharp and it's gonna scratch up your box so you might want to put in uh, put some uh, I don't know some kind of uh, felt felt tape maybe or something just to keep this from scratching up that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do it right now um, just wanted to show you guys how to mount this to your roof rack um, by the way this thing right here I think it's just a drain hole not like a pressure valve or anything not a hundred percent sure yeah it is actually now now I see it actually can just screw that off so that's that's just a drain hole I guess you could use this as a cool box or something or a cooler fill it up with ice if you want to now this thing does have a little gasket on it too so once you tighten it up it'll be watertight 
so all right guys um, I'm gonna show you how you can put this on by yourself um, so stay with me okay guys so if you want to put the box on yourself just close it up and then grab the one end and then slide it over your very rear crossbar and slide it up and slide it on and that's it that's how you put it on yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, then I'll start installing the carriage bolts and everything so see you in a minute all right you guys I got the box on there I got all the hardware installed the carriage bolts everything it's kind of raining but I just wanted to show you what it looks like I don't know if you can see that but I got my carriage bolt then I got a washer then I got the tie down then I got another washer and then I got the stop nut on there so as you can see the tie downs are a little bit longer for me so I'm gonna have to cut away like three loops here on the back one and yeah the same on here three loops so I guess you're gonna need if you buy the same thing that I have you're gonna need uh, 14 14 little holes uh, the little tie downs they should have 14 little holes if you're gonna mount it the same way that I did now you could mount it also here using the side uh, tie down points if you want to you know there's one right there one right there and then there's also two on the other side but I think this is a little bit easier one in the front one in the back so yeah I'm going to it's raining right now I'm not gonna finish this right now but for you guys it'll be in a minute um, so I'm going to cut off those three extra holes of length on the tie downs and then after that I'll remove remove them and I'm gonna spray paint them black um, you know clean it clean clean them up with alcohol uh, make sure you know it's dirt free oil free spray them down do like two three coats of, of black spray paint and uh, and then I'll reinstall everything and show you guys and I also have to find some some of that soft felt tape or, or whatever so that uh, my box doesn't get scratched up by those tie down things straps so stay with me guys by the way I am gonna leave this up there um, it's raining right now so that'll give me a chance to see how waterproof this thing is so we'll see in a couple of hours but yeah keep watching guys I'm gonna finish this up hopefully I'll be able to spray paint this today if not I'll do it tomorrow all right guys so I went to the hardware store and I bought some of this velcro I'm only gonna use the one side which is the soft side and I plan on putting this one strip on on here so basically it'll go somewhere from in here and then come down to here so that way your little tie down doesn't scratch scratch up your box so I'm gonna go ahead and I might have to trim it I got the two inch two inch wide one so I'll have to trim it a little bit and then um, after that I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and paint it with some black spray paint and then uh, I'll show you guys the final result and by the way it's been raining and no water is in here so that's a good sign so all right guys stay with me all right I got my felt tape on so now you get your bracket in here it's not gonna scratch up your box you see protect it at the bottom edge this top edge and that top edge 
so I don't know just uh, something I wanted to do to have the box as long as possible you know keep it in good shape so all right guys so I'm gonna do the other side and then uh, I'll be back with these nice and painted and then uh, hopefully you know we'll have the final result all right all right so I have everything installed adjusted tightened down my straps that I made everything is done and I painted them spray painted them matte black I added my little felt and everything is solid guys this thing is not it's not going nowhere you know this is uh, you know this was my idea of you know how to secure it there's there's other ways to do it but yeah um, let me show you the back as well Get up here. This is the back. I also have the felt here. Yeah, guys. Right next to my solar panel. This is solid. It, it's not going nowhere. Like it's very secure. So. even got some leftover space on this side and I got a lot of space left over on the front of the rack all right you guys so I showed you the, the Rome Adventure company 95 liter uh, box and I showed you how to how I'm installing it um, the nice thing about this box is that there are multiple ways of securing it and installing it to your roof rack without compromising the waterproof waterproofing watertight seal that is already incorporated into the box. You don't have to drill anything into the bottom. You don't have to drill anything into the sides. Now the way I installed this with those metal little straps, that's how I feel is best for me you know um, if you don't like that you can get ratchet straps um, and do it that way um, you can use your ratchet straps on the on the sides as well you can put ratchet straps on the same location as I did on the front and the back you know there's multiple ways you can even make a, some kind of an L bracket um, but for me, this is good. Um, anytime I want to remove this, all I got to do is remove the nut um, right here. Just remove that bottom nut uh, that's, you know, holding down the, the strap. Um, so that's it. Just remove the front nut, the back nut, take it off, and that's it. You know, it, it takes literally, you know, less than five minutes to tighten up the nuts again and uh, you know get the box up on there um, I did measure the height um, if you're gonna go through drive throughs or parking garages or whatever it's about seven foot eight inches um, now this is with the Prinsu roof rack so if you have a different roof rack it might be more or less um, but yeah that's uh that's the measurements i really like this box you know mostly you know for the looks and the functionality i like that i can have the organizer on the lid so it's called the lid organizer um i can keep my tools in there nuts bolts whatever spares um i like that you know the installation is easy and i like the size um and i went with black you've got multiple choices of colors you've got camo you've got the like the desert uh tan color you've got the gray um 
And there's also a green. So yeah, lots of options on this. And um, build quality seems really good. Um, you can also lock, lock it up on each of the little um, compression latches or whatever. There's a little spot you can put in, uh, you know, a little lock. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for everything, including the little locks. You can use the same locks that I showed you guys in my um, awning video. Um, I'll put a link in the description for them. I'll put a link in the description for the uh, Rome Adventure box. I'll put a link in the description for the organizer. And also for that metal roll of metal s strap or whatever it is. Um, and yeah guys if, if if you like this then go ahead and get it please use my links i get something from amazon and if you like the video uh go ahead and like it um if you're not subscribed please subscribe won't cost you anything and um if you have any questions uh just let me know drop a question in the comment section and yeah guys that's it uh Thanks for watching and um, the next video is going to be mounting the water tank um, on the roof. I, I, I got to see how I'm going to move that uh, awning bracket so that it's not in the way. Uh, it's keeping the water tank from sitting flat. So I got to see how I'm going to do that. Um, I got new tail lights. I haven't done the video on that. But they're they're installed, but it's not finished. Um, getting something 3D printed for them. Uh, you guys will see. I'll make a video on that. But other than that, that's it for now, guys. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.